Uh, we're here to play some music um, as part of this initiative by Cultural Centre in Hammersmith. They're recording artists based in London. So myself and Ema are delighted to take part. We have played here before in front of a live audience. So it's a little bit different today with no audience, but it's great because it's the first uh, performance we've done in a long time. So I'm really excited. We were playing in sessions and stuff in London before. And then so we met in the session scene and then started playing together more seriously, <laughs> if we call it seriously. Um, and, and yeah, by the, by probably playing a couple of years together now. And the sessions are great and everything um, to play, you know, in big groups of people. But um, I, it's nicer just to play with like more intensely with um, a, a duo. Um, and we also play as a trio sometimes, but you can explore things together more intensely. Um, he's great for the variations, which I really, you know, get inspired by. Um, um, Ema was taught by a great player called Seamus Tanzi who I would have listened to a lot growing up so we'd have a lot of this uh, shared repertoire of tunes and um, I don't know I just found it easy to, to play together really so yeah well my background is um, I'm from County Armagh and um, lived in London over 18 years so giving away my age there <laughs> um, but uh, yeah I studied with Seamus when I was a kid but then I moved to London um, and then studied classical flute um, sort of for a career and then as time went by I tried to mix the two so now I tour with classical and Irish flute kind of mixed together in lots of genres and then I do some Irish stuff separately as well. So my granddad actually played the fiddle and um, that's where it started in, in our family and um, unfortunately I sadly I never met him because he, he died when my mum was young but my mum and dad were very keen for us to start when we were young so we started like you know seven eight uh, around that age went to lessons and then basically played like every day um, I went to sessions every weekend my, our our family would drive us everywhere to pubs just to play growing up and my brother and sister play banjo and fiddle and, and we all still play you know every so often together so yeah very much brought up with a musical family. You see I, I have a good insight into this because my parents grew up in London so they're part of what you're talking about they were a second generation Irish so I've got a really good I can see both and then they moved back to Ireland before I was born so my dad would have learned his music uh, in London and it was very important to them, the Irish, the sense of Irishness, the music. But now the, in London, a lot of the people that are playing music were born in Ireland and have come over. So there's a bit of a mix. But each part of the country has got um, a different accent. And it's, um, especially going back, it was more pronounced. Now, like accents, generally, it's a little bit more diluted because, you know, say years ago, people wouldn't have gone outside their area so they just play the music a certain way and that's it really you'd instantly be able to know know someone's music where they're from um, some parts are more pronounced than others say all down the west coast would have a very um, personal accent I suppose. So for me um, I had some lung problems and um, so I had planned to take a month off and um, Funnily enough, uh, my birthday is the day after Paddy's Day, and so after all the Paddy's Day gigs were finished, I was planning on taking a month off, and then COVID hit and like lockdown. So it actually worked out really good timing for me in that sense. But after a month, then I was just going crazy because <laughs> like the first month I was like, yes, I get to rest, and then second month it's like, okay, I'm really craving playing, and it, for me, I really struggled. Um, what about you? Yeah, same as that really. Uh, being kept busy doing some teaching online is kind of what I've been doing and uh, yeah a lot of practice. Hi everybody great to be here in Hammersmith uh, Irish Cultural Centre myself James Carty and Emer McGeown and we're going to play a set of polkas to start off. Um, first one is the one we got from Michael Gorman and the second one is a composition of Seamus Begley who's been here many times called Maeve's Polka. And we're delighted that after this set, young Ben Connolly is going to come up and join us. Um, so yeah, try these two polkas. Yep. Two, three, four.
<laughs> it's like we're waiting for applause. It's so weird. <laughs> Uh, thanks very much. Uh, we're delighted now to be joined by Ben Connolly. Um, he's a young man of 16 years of age and he's a fantastic musician. He's going to play piano today. And if anything happens to me or Emer, he can fill in on those instruments as well. Yeah, he's a fantastic flute player as well. So I didn't know he played fiddle though as well. He can play anything. Wow. <laughs> play anything, that man. So we we'll continue on now with two reels. Uh, the first one uh, is composed by a leecher man called Sean Gilrain, and I got it from Emer, and it's called... Got Anya's Fancy. <laughs> Anya's Fancy. Got it right. uh, and then a uh, great tune afterwards that's called Conlon's Dream, or Sherlock's sometimes. Roger Sherlock was a great favourite of his. So, yeah. Uh, what will we play next? Um, oh, so we might do the RuneScape? Yeah, I'll let Amor tell you about this because she knows more about it than me. Okay, so we're going to do two tunes, a jig and a reel. A bit controversial for some, for some people. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to start with a jig called RuneScape Jig. And basically... Um, uh, a few years ago, it's probably long, long, it's probably 10 years ago, but it feels like a few years ago, um, I had to do some comp some recording for a video game called RuneScape, and I had to do some improvisations, and while I was doing it, this melody kind of came into my head that sounded a bit like a jig, so I said to the guy, is it okay if I use this as a jig, and he said, yeah, no problem, and he says, can we use it, I said, can we use the uh, the the, the title, and then I had to get like legal stuff. But anyway, in the end, we got to call it the title of the video game, which is RuneScape. <laughs> so it's called RuneScape Jig. God, we probably should edit that. <laughs> and then the second one is a really um, old reel called Mod Millers. <laughs> Thank you. 
so the next piece that we're going to play, um, it's a slower that uh, Belfast Piper um, called uh, Mulholland. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> Bram Brandon Monaghan. Brandon Monaghan wrote this next tune. And um, we're going to uh, play it. And <laughs> Ben's going to very kindly join in with the, the piano.
lovely. Hard to follow that. Anything happy will follow that. <laughs> Great. Uh, we're going to continue on now. I'm going to play a couple of jigs this time. Um, myself and Ben. First one is called Jackson's. Jackson's Morning Brush. Uh, it's a version that's got from great fiddle player Michael Coleman uh, from Sligo. And then one after called Strike the Gay Harp. Uh, I have a few versions of this going around in my head, so it's kind of a mismatch. Yeah. Thanks very much. Uh, again, we're delighted to be here and thanks to Roz Alind for ask, asking us to play here and uh, thanks to all the team, uh, William and Jerry and Shay and everyone that's here. And the cameraman. And um, we're gonna, I suppose, finish off with a set, yep. reels. And uh, we started off with a, a tune called Mulhairs 
and then a tune called Tribble Up The Stairs, or Jim Coleman's is also known as, and finishing off with one called Shawnee Davies. Tunes from Seamus Tansy, the last two actually, three of them, three of them all uh, Seamus Tansy tunes who taught Emer when she was young. So yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah.